and good evening. Hello, guys. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, Edwin. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Here, here, enjoying the weather. Enjoying, disfrutando. Really? Yeah, I love it when it's windy and fresh. <laughs> I am working. Oh, really? Oh. Really? <laughs> what time do you finish? Yeah. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. So you work the night shift? Yeah, night. Oh, man. <laughs> That's hard, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Working nights is hard. Really? And, and we got the other side, you know, Karen is hugging her pillow while you are awake all night long. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the way it is. So, how was your day? Did you work yesterday? No. Last night? No. You start your week today? Yeah. So uh, you... uh, Just today? Yeah. Oh, today. Solo. Me ha tocado de noche. Okay, just, just, solo, just. o solamente, solamente. just today. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> well, that's nice, no. that's nice. And tomorrow, you don't work tomorrow? No. You go in? Tomorrow is sleeping. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> Even though, well, sleeping in the day for me doesn't work. I mean, you sleep like four, five hours tops. Five hours. Yeah, you cannot sleep more during the day. Uh, it's hard, it's hard, but anyway. Thank you, Edwin. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to let everybody know that it's time so they can connect. Let's see, let's see, where are you guys? Where are you? Man, I got so many groups, so many different groups. Let's try looking for it like this. Okay. It is time, guys. Okay, let's see, let's see who else is here, who else is around. Karen, how are you? Hi, teacher. How are you today? Um, well, cool. fine, but not so good. <laughs> Why not good? Uh, I have spent the weekend in, uh, no sé cómo se dice, migraña. Migraine? Migraine. Oh, that's horrible. Desde el viernes, todo el día el viernes. Since Friday. Mm -hmm. Since Friday. Yeah, I know what's that. Well, actually, in my case, I just get migraine, but mine is uh, eyesight migraine. La mía es ocular. So, mm, well, la mía puede, antes, 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 me daba de un mes, tres semanas. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Ahora le he podido controlar un poco, pero sí me siguen dando episodios de migraña. Uh, it's terrible, it's terrible. And the screens doesn't help. Leave out your cell phone for a little while. Sorry? Uh, the screens, the bright of the screens doesn't help. El brillo de las pantallas no ayuda. Mm -mm. So you gotta be Para careful. Nada. You gotta be careful with that. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry for that, guys. Lo siento por eso, but uh, we also teach uh, little kiddos here in my house. So we have to project. So that's why I don't like that. But anyway, let's see. Thank you, Karen. Let's see who else around. Mauricio. Hello, Mauricio. How are you? I'm fine. You're fine. Yeah, oh, that's yes. cool. That's cool. That's cool. You are very, very tidy. Muy limpio. <laughs> Yeah, I noticed, I noticed. Meeting today? Yeah, you got a meeting today? 
Socorro. What? You had a meeting? Socorro reunión? No. No, no la esperaba. Oh, la, ok. Tuvi, sí. Yeah, estuvimos reunión, pero, pero no, 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 no la teníamos planeada. Ok. Look. You just told me it was not expected. No la esperaba. No, was it not was expected. not expected. Spe spelt. Spelt. Uh, do you do you shave regularly? Yes. How regularly do you shave? One to una vez, ¿cómo sería? Una vez once. a la semana. Once. <laughs> once. Once. Once a week. No, once a week. A week. Yeah, once a week. Once means one time. Eso significa una vez. Once. Once. Once, once a una vez. week. Una vez. Yeah. Oh. If you if you do it one day yes, one day no, another day yes, that's. Una vez sí, una vez no. Yes. But in English, in order to say that, you say every other day. Every other day. Every other day. That means one day yes, one day no, another day yes, another day no. Every other day. Yes, that's every other day. Well, uh, in my case, I hate shaving. I hate it. Yo lo odio. Ah. Ah, igual, a mí no me gusta tampoco. Yeah, I mean, the problem is that here is kind of easy, but down here, man, I got it up to here. So, I got it up to my Adam's apple. So, it's ah. uncomfortable to be shaving there, man. But, anyway. Antes se me veía a mí la manzana, o ya no. <laughs> That's an Adam's apple. Adam's apple. Antes se me veía. Yeah, that's Before. Yeah. Oh, well, ya no, ya no se ve. Yeah, that happens, you know. Uh, mostly in, uh, in our case, in men, that happens with the pass of time. We start getting bigger and bigger. That's normal. Yes. Uh, yeah. I mean. It, demasiado. Yeah. When I was. 23, I used to weigh uh, 110 pounds. 10 pounds. 110. Yeah. 100, ah, 110. Yes. I was very thin. And I, <laughs> and I am, and I am, and I am, and I am 172 tall. Ah, okay. Um, and I am, I am, one seventy-five. Okay, you are taller than me. Uh, no sé, sería a little, uh, poquito. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. A little bit. A, a little, little bit. bit. Yeah, but you know, that's bit. the pass of time. And tell me what, yesterday was a Sunday, what did you do? What do you usually do on Sundays, Mauricio? Um, oh, I usually game game video games. Play video games. Play big play video games and or rest. Okay, what's your favorite video game? Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat. Oh, <laughs> cool. It's good. <laughs> I used ¿Verdad, Karen? <laughs> back in the day. Sí. <laughs> back in the day. Yeah, I know. Back in the days, I used to play it, but in the arcades. Tengo una máquina. Oh, really? Cool. <laughs> That's Arcade. cool. That's pretty cool. Well, thank you, Mauricio. Welcome to the class. Let's see, let's Gracias. see. Somewhere around here is Mabel. Hello, Mabel. How are you? Hello, I don't hear you. Hello. 
I'm fine. Thanks. Okay. How are you? I'm just great. Tell me, tell me, Sonia, do you like it cold or do you like it hot? How do you like it? How do you like the weather? What's your favorite weather? Cold or hot? Cold. Clima. What's your favorite cold. weather? Cold. Oh, me too. Yes. So these windy days are good for you. Yes. The windy, windy. Días de viento. Con mucho viento. Windy. So yes. windy days are good for you. Okay, that's nice. Tell me. Today is a Monday. What do you usually do on Mondays, Mabel? Mm, I'm working. Okay, what time do you do you wake up on a Monday? I don't understand. What time do you wake up on Mondays? Uh, um... What do you say? Say de la mañana. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Okay. 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That's that's okay. 6 a.m. is is not too early, but it's still early. What time do you go to work? Um, with traffic. Um, twenty. Between no. 20 and 25 minutes. minutes. That's what it takes you. But at what time? At what time do you leave your house? Mm, okay, uh, seven and thirty minutes. Seven and a half or seven thirty. Mm -hmm. You can mm, say seven okay. thirty. Oh, really? Uh, what do you say? Eso es hoy. Que that, mis hijos están en, oh, en trabajando en casa. Si no, uh -huh. That's now that they are at home. Uh, that's okay. not, that's now, can, now. That's now? Now, that's today. That's now mm -hmm. that, that they are at mm -hmm. home. That they are at home. Oh, okay. So mm -hmm. when they go to school, at what time do you leave your house? Um, six. Si, ¿Cómo es seis con diez? Six ten. Six ten. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. that's okay. You know, when my when my son was in high school uh, two years ago, cuando mi hijo estaba en bachillerato two years mm -hmm. ago, he used to leave the house, mm -hmm. solía irse, salir de la casa, at a quarter to five, a quince a las cinco. No, no. <laughs> a esa hora me levanto. <laughs> he used to leave the house quarter to five in order to go to school. Mm. And he used to come back around 7, 7.30. Traffic is terrible. Yo tengo suerte porque no, o sea, casi no You don't hit traffic. traffic. Okay, mm -hmm. look at this sentence. I mm -hmm. do not usually hit traffic okay this is it i do not usually hit traffic well in our case imagine he used to study by uh, close to garcia flamencos in san salvador by metro centro like mm -hmm. or four blocks up from metro centro and mm -hmm. we live in san martin so to travel yeah. that far to commute to commute i mean he used to commute two hours sometimes sometimes mm. more so it's hard it's a little bit hard yeah for us still it's beautiful now that he's uh, he's a, a, 
at the university, but he's studying here from home. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's cool. Very, very long time and traffic. Yeah. Well, thank you, Sonia. Nice talking to you today. Okay. Let's see who else ar is around. Mr. Hugo Arevalo Mora, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you, mister? Uh, I'm fine. Okay. I'm fine. Yesterday was a Sunday. Tell me, what do you usually do on Sundays? Hello? What? Okay, I'm going to text you the question. My question is, what do you usually do oops on sundays and we've got a question mark like this what do you usually do on sunday que suele hacer los domingos um relaxing my home okay let me see if i remember you play soccer sometimes oh no you yeah. go and you go to you you spend time with your family right exactly and saturdays you go to your girlfriends yeah, and I, sunday sunday too and sunday oh that's cool that's cool that's nice so you get along you get along that means llevarse bien you get along with your in-laws con los suegros in-laws that's nice that's nice so <laughs> hey, he's he's the good boy for his mother-in-law that's cool man well thank you Hugo let's see the, who else yeah. is around here Oh, Ivania, it's your turn because you were laughing about Hugo. So it's your turn, Ivania. Hello, Ivania, how are you? Hi, teacher, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thank oh, really? you. Well, yes. Tell me, how was your day? Today, tell me, what do you usually do on sun on Mondays? Mondays. Um, work. Okay, but I mean, yeah. there's a process. At what time do you wake up? What the? Um, what time do you wake up? The time. Eh, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Hmm. Despertarse. No, 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 no. no. Eh, five. Five o'clock. Okay, you see, wake up. Okay, yeah. tell me, the time when you wake up is the same time when you get up. Mm. Mm. Because in my case, if I if I wake up at six, I get up at six fifteen, six twenty. No, if I wake up, yeah, get up. up. Okay, yeah. cool. Mm -hmm. cool, cool, cool. Tell me, how long does it take you to shower? How long? Cuánto le toma? To shower. Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. Yes. On a shower. Yes. <laughs> My gosh. I'm going to make a poll here. Voy a hacer una encuesta acá to see how <laughs> much. Oh, okay, okay. Tell me, do you usually have breakfast at home? No. 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 You have breakfast no. on your workplace. Yes. And at what time do you have breakfast? Um, usually, um, ocho y media, ¿cómo se dice? Eight thirty. Eight thirty. Mm -hmm. Okay, at eight thirty. That's cool. And tell me, do you like drinking coffee? Yes. Okay. How many cups of coffee do you take on a regular um, day? Mm, no. Um, Una vez al día. Once a day. Once. One day. Once. Yes. In the morning. In the morning. Just once. Oh my gosh. Here at home, I just take like one, two, three, four tops here. 
But if I go out to work, I take around six or seven. And I'm talking about cups, no, no little things. Mm -hmm. I love coffee. <laughs> Interesting. And tell me, what time do you have lunch? Um, I have lunch. I have lunch. Es que no tengo horario, por decirlo así. <laughs> Como oh. a las dos, dos de la tarde. Usually at 2 p.m. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you are telling me that it there is Maria. Yes. Oh, interesting, interesting. And what about dinner? What time do you have dinner? Mm. After class or before the class? Before the class. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So when the class finished, you fall asleep? Yes, yes. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice, that's nice. Well, thank you, Vanya. Nice talking to you tonight. Thank you. Let's see who else is here, who else is here. Mr. Walter Ruiz. Hello, Mr. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And tell me, how was your day? ¿Qué tal el día? My day? Yeah. This day? Yes, today. Mm, it's busy. Busy? Okay. Yeah. I am asking everybody, so tell me, Walter, at what time do you wake up to on Monday? Monday is uh, 6.30 a.m. To go to work? Cool. 6.30 a.m. Yeah. yeah. You know, Ivania right now is like, no, it's not possible. She wakes up at 5 and you wake up at 6.30. Uh, sometimes... 7 a.m. Sometimes at 7. Okay. Wow, cool. That's nice. That's nice. And tell me, what time do you have lunch? Mm, I had lunch at uh, maybe uh, una, 1 p.m. At 1 p.m.? Yes. Okay, 1 p.m. That's acceptable. Uh, how many cups of coffee do you take? A day? Usually per cup. Okay, that's nice. Wow, that's a big bottle, Sonia. I like it. No. Okay, so tell me, and what about dinner? Do you have dinner before the class or after the class? After. After the class? Yes. Uh, same like me. Yes. I don't like having dinner before class. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Walter. Okay, sir. Let's see. Let's see. I got more people here. I got more people here. Uh, Susana, where did you go? Hi. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Susana. How are you? Uh, tired. Tired? Why? You don't have nothing to do. Nothing. Just four kids. I mean, that's, that's no. like nothing. Because it's Monday, because it's Monday. Tell me, Susana, what time do you wake up on Mondays? Um, 5.30. 5.30? 5.30 or 6. Okay. Yeah. And, at, and at what time do you go to sleep? ¿A qué hora me voy a dormir? Yes. Um, I go to sleep. Um, I, go I go to sleep. At? Um, at go to sleep. On 11, 11 o'clock. Yeah, media vez termina la clase, me voy a dormir. At 11 o'clock. Cool. Yes, in, in days normal. On a um, normal maybe day. Maybe 10. On a normal day. On the normal days, um, 10 o'clock. Oh, really? Yes, yes. 10 o'clock. Yes. Wow, awesome. I sí. Could, in my case, look. I go to bed. I go to bed around, to bed. around. In my case, I go to bed around uh -huh. twelve thirty or one. Every day. Yes, and as soon as I get in my bed, I turn the TV on. I start um. watching TV or playing with my cell phone. Mm -hmm. 
mm. or reading a book. So for me, it's a little bit later. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice eh, cuando uno se acostumbra a algo? When you get used to it. Wow, beautiful expression. Okay, when you get used to it. When you get... Uh, when, when you, you get, get used to it? Used to. Used, used to. to. Yeah, when you, you get used to it, it's easy. Okay. Well, thank you, Susana. Nice talking to you. Good evening. Thank you. Roxana Trejos. Hello, Roxana. How's your connection today? Hello, teacher. Oh, good yes. connection. Perfect. <laughs> I stay in my home. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's nice. And El viernes estaba fuera de mi casa. Ajá, ajá. Y me quedé a dormir afuera. Por oh, eso my fue. gosh. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Tell us, where did you go? A dónde fue? You were I in go San, to the in San Luis Alpha, right? I, yes, uh -huh. in my mom. At my mom's. At my mom. We uh, we celebration. We celebrated. We celebrated. We celebrated the birthday to my husband. Okay, look, my husband's birthday. My husband celebrate. My husband's birthday. Birthday. My husband's birthday. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Now we believe you. You said the key word. Ahora le creemos que dijo la palabra. Husband. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Now, now it's fine. It's fine. We were worried. Where is this little lady? So, tell me, how was the party? I find. Okay. What, what did you eat? What was for food? Uh, panes con pollo. Oh, man. No. That's terrible. Fue gallina Pan. india. Oh. <laughs> no le gusta. Neither of both. Ninguna de ambas. En nor, serio. Nor panes con pollo, nor with gallina india. And turkey, I hate it. Is you said where you're from. From here, man, from here, from here. Lo mismo me estaba preguntando yo, ¿de dónde es? Yeah, but those things are not for me. ¿Qué le gusta? ¿Cuál oh. es su plato favorito? Men oh. Aparte de los chiles. Actually, it's chiles, stuffed, rellenos. ¿Rellenos? Yes. Oh. Stuffed. ¿Cuál es su favorito? Uh, meat, uh, uh, beef. Los chiles rellenos de res. Beef. Mm -hmm. Stuff beef. with beef. Beef. Yeah. Okay. That's res. Beef. Res. Yes, because, okay. because you have a cow. Vaca. We have a oh. bull. Un toro. But toro. That's, when, that's when they are alive. Cuando están vivos. When they are dead. Okay, cuando ya se murieron. Oh, we have a uh, noxen. But when they are dead, cuando ya están muertos, la carne, what we call carne de res, that's beef. Okay. That's why we say that, oh, the other day we prepare, we say the word in Spanish that is weird, we say, uh, beef steak, but that's actually beef, beef steak. steak. Beef steak. Beef steak. Oh. Okay. Thank you very much, Roxana. Nice okay. conversation. Nice conversation. <laughs> Let's see. I am missing. I am missing Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. How are you this lovely evening? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, how are you today? How was your day? A very busy day. Busy, busy. Busy day. Oh, really? What did you do? Mm, uh, 
súper pesado el día. Ok. Trabajo. ¿Qué hizo? Eh, prepare report. Prepare. Uh, to me. Prepare report. Re prepare report. <laughs> Prepare report. Prepare report. Okay. Do this. Do this. Look at me. Look at me. Look at my hands. Prepare. Prepare. Okay. Prepare. Oh, now look at me. Report. 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 Like that. So we are talking about prepare report. Okay. Prepare report. <laughs> Perfect. You see, it's easy. You just follow the rhythm. Okay. So, and tell me, what about yesterday? Yesterday was a Sunday. What did you do yesterday? Okay, so oh, really? So, so, do you do the laundry? Or... What about doing the laundry? Doing the laundry. Look in the chat. Laundry. To do. Okay. Do the laundry. Es. Uh, lavar la ropa. Okay. Yes. <laughs> we also say. Another expression that we use is. Do the dishes. That's los platos. Okay, so a heavy day. Yes. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to the class, Vanessa. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, what is your name? I just see your last name here. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I need to remember. Amparo? Yes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, tell me, what did you do today? Okay, so... Hey. Calls to the drivers. To who? Um, A quién? The drivers. Oh, the, the drivers, yeah, the drivers. drivers. Remember, um, do you remember the other day we practiced the letter R? The drivers. Drivers. R. Remember, your tongue goes back. Acuérdese, la lengua va hacia atrás. Driver. Drivers. Perfect. Okay, what else? Um, send emails. Okay. Um, answer calls. Answer phone calls. Perfect. And, uh, what about yesterday? Hey, de ayer. What do you usually do on Sundays? ¿Qué suele hacer los domingos? Cleaning the house. Okay, you clean the house. Laundry. Este... Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Do the dishes. Okay. Okay, do you cook, or, do you cook on Sundays? Uh, do you cook for lunch on Sundays? Yes. Okay. What do you usually prepare for lunch on a Sunday? Um, beef, beef, is carne, or no? Yeah. Asada. Oh, roast beef. Mm -hmm. Roast beef. Or do mm -hmm. you prepare a barbecue? Uh, poco. Okay. A little. Sometimes. Rarely. De vez en cuando. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? Oh, de vez en cuando. That's. That's interesting. De vez en cuando. Once on a while. Once on a while. Once on a while. Once on a while. A while. De vez en cuando. Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. And tell me, what's what's your specialty? What do you like? What do you love to cook? In my home. You, you. What do you like? ¿Qué es lo que más le gusta cocinar? Que me guste, que me guste. No te... Prefiero comer, pero que me guste. Lo que le queda mejor. Pollo guisado. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Pongo pollo, pollo guisado, tenemos chicken. Sauce. Pollo en salsa, no sé. Okay, yeah, that's that's in sauce. Guisado. Mm -hmm. I need to remember that word. Because that would be uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. What you mean is uh Giso, that's a giso is easy. Giso is a stew. Stew. Oh well. Thank you very much, Amparo. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's see. There's Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Sandra Yanira. Hello. Hello, teacher. Oh, there you are, and I can hear you perfectly. Hello, Sandra, how are you? Fine. Fine. Okay, tell me, Sandra, what about you? What time do you wake up on a Monday? I wake up 30... ¿Cómo se dice? Tres y media? Three thirty? Perdón? Three, 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 thirty. Three, thirty. Yeah, or three, thirty. Really? A.M. in the mañana, in the morning. Yes. Why? Por qué? Because. Um, viajo de Santa Ana hacia San Salvador. Oh, okay. I travel. I travel. I travel from. Santa Ana to San Salvador, okay? I travel from Santa Ana to San Salvador, from desde to hasta. Mm -hmm. well, nosotros decimos de a, but means de. desde hasta, okay? Hasta. Okay. Oh, really? How long does it take you from Santa Ana to San Salvador? Two hours. Two hours? Driving? No. Um, bus. In bus. You, you come by bus. By bus. In, by bus. Okay. Yeah, that's understandable. Uh, I mean, let me see. What's the fastest I have made? Okay. Lo más rápido que yo he hecho from Santa Ana to Santa Tecla. Once we made 20, no, 30 minutes. Una vez hicimos media hora fast no <laughs> no in, in my case in my case nosotros hicimos media hora de santa ana santa tecla mm. but it yes. was just couple of times un par de veces in motorcycle it was sí, en, en vehículo en vehículo lo más una una hora o menos yeah, one hour one hour yeah. one hour is acceptable uh, we used to like to run. No gustaba mm -hmm. correr. So, that means that right now, as soon as the class finishes, you crash. Tan pronto la clase termine, you will crash. Usted will go to sleep. Right? I lost you again, Sandra. I think the wind is not helping. Creo que el viento no nos ayuda. Hello. Hola, hola. Yes, I hola, can teacher. hear you. Yes, I hola, can hear me you. Hola, me escucha. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Well, I think we got problems again. The, the wind is affecting. El viento está afectando. Don't worry, don't worry, Sandra. Later. Luego vamos a practicar. Okay, let's see. Who else? Vladimir. Hello, Vladimir. Hello, teacher. How are oh, you? I'm just fine. Thank you. Tell me, Vladimir, what time do you usually wake up on Mondays? On Mondays? Well, I wake up at 5 5.40. 5.40. 5.40? Okay. 20 to 5. 20 to 6. Uh, yeah, but I get up at 6 a.m. Oh, yeah, you are like me. Well, in my case, they have to pull me from the bed because I'm like, 
hugging my pillow. Oh, well. Yeah, if they turn the light on, si encienden la luz, I get my pillow on my head and I go to sleep again. That's okay. Yeah, that, it's hard for me to get out of the bed. A mí me cuesta salir de la cama. To get out of the bed, salir de la cama. Okay. Don't worry, me too. What about on Sundays? Tell me, what time do you usually wake up on Sundays? On Sundays, that depends. Sometimes my wife works on Sundays. Oh, really? So you go drop her off? Yes. Okay, just wait a second because I will share this phrase with your classmates. You go to drop her off. La va a dejar, decimos nosotros. You go to drop her off. Do not try to translate that. No traten de traducirlo porque van a entender que la va a votar. But it's but not like Sunday, that. It's but this Sunday, she, yes. she doesn't work. Oh, really? She didn't yeah. work yesterday? So what time did you wake up yesterday? Uh, well, at 8, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock? Yeah. That's acceptable. That's, that's cool. Okay, well, thank you very much, Vladimir. Nice talking to you. Okay, teacher. Okay, guys, I need to get the attendance. So give me a second. Let's see, is it my group? Yes, it is my group. And I'm going to get the attendance right here, right here. Today is the first, right? Okay. Amparo Yajaira Meléndez de Molina. Present teacher. Antonia Elizabeth Méndez de Altamirano. Not here. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. I saw Claudia. Claudia. Okay, Claudia. Thank you. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Veras. Present teacher. Thank you. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present. Excellent. Hugo Ernesto Arevalo Mora. Present teacher. Thank you. Indiana de Jesús Obando Lozano. Here. Indiana Maria Doña Estrada. Indiana Doña, no here. Hmm, that's weird. She's always here. Okay, siempre está. Ivania Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Alejandra Flores López. Present. Thank you. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Let's see. Roxana's not here. Present teacher. Oh, yeah. Roxana is here. I was worried. No había activado el, no había activado el micrófono. Oh, perdón. perfect. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Thank you. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Thank you. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present, teacher. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Present. Thank you. Vladimir Antonio Martínez. Present. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present. Thank you. Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. No here. Okay, guys. Well, let's see. I still need to talk to two more people from the class. Tengo que hablar todavía con dos o tres más de la clase. And I will let you know soon why. Y pronto le dejaré. ¿Por qué? Let's see. Uh, who's missing? Who's missing? There's a lady here. That is Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Where are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Hi, Evelyn. I'm just great. Tell me, Evelyn, what are Sundays for you? How are Sundays for you? ¿Cómo son los domingos para usted? What do you usually do? Describe your routine, please. Descríbame su rutina. Um, generally, I wake up more time than normal. Um, eight, nine. 10. 8, 9, or 10. Wow, that's cool. You don't have little kids, right? No tiene chiquito, ¿verdad? Uh, I don't. Yeah, uh, that's my right. daughter. Yes, your daughter is? Um, my daughter 
que, eh, a, que ellas tienen, she, her, she they, had, they are, uh, they are, um, ¿cómo puedo decir? Adultas, ya son adultas. Adults. Adults. Oh, that's uh, why. Yeah, because when we, we have little kids, they wake up. Especially the day that you want to sleep more, they wake up early. Cuando uno tiene chiquitos, el día que no quiere dormir más, ellos despiertan temprano. Terrible. Exacto. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, so you wake up around 10. At what time do you have breakfast on Sundays? Um, no, normally, one or two uh, afternoon. Oh, that's just lunch, uh, no breakfast. No, 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 no. Oh, uh, breakfast. Uh, yes, yes breakfast. sí. Um, oh. Yes. Uh, um, uh, around 10 a.m. Oh, that's okay. That's acceptable. And at what time do you go to sleep on Sundays? Um, repeat me off. Um, Please. What time do you go to sleep on Sundays? ¿A qué horas duerme? What time? ¿A qué horas? Uh, only in tomorrow. No, no, no. En la noche del domingo. On Sunday's night. What time? ¿A qué horas? You go to sleep. Generally. Uh, Eight, ten. Ten. Okay. Early. So you rest <laughs> the hands. Excellent. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Miss Guadalupe. Hello. Hello, hello. I think we have troubles here. Okay, let's see. Let me check on something. Miss um, <laughs> Guadalupe Alfaro Lopez. Hello. Claudia. Hello. 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 How are you? I'm fine. Okay. No problem, no problem. Tell me, what time do you go to sleep on Sundays? ¿A qué hora se va a dormir los domingos? Ten night? Ten? Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. That's early, so you rest. And at what time do you wake up on Sundays? Sundays, oh, uh, night. At night? Eight. Oh, really? Every day is at 10. At 10 in the morning? In the morning. Uh -huh. Okay, that's cool. So, Sundays are easy. What do you do on a Sunday? ¿Qué hace el resto del día? Uh, I, wake, I wake and I... Um, I cook. I cook it. You cook breakfast. I, I cook. I cook. I cook. Um, yes, I breakfast. Okay. Um, my me. family. Oh yes, yes, yes. Tell me, tell me. My family. Um, for example, uh, yesterday I cooked. Um, by my boyfriends. Um. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. A ver. Yesterday you cooked for your boyfriend, cocinó para su novia. Yes. Okay. Yes. Porque lo primero que me había dicho es que lo había cocinado a él. Okay. <laughs> you, Sorry. You um, cook. You cook uh, for. I cook. For your boyfriend, right? Or by. Okay. Tell me, what did you cook? For. 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 
Okay, what did um, you cook for I him? I cooked. Mm, what did you prepare? F. F. Salchichas? How do you say salchichas? Sausages. 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 Yeah, look at that. Sausages. Sausages. Beans. Okay. ¿Qué más? Is there more? Todavía más. Wow, it was a big break. Eh, we. Oh my God. Ah, no. Um, ¿cómo se dice? Plátano. Plantain. Plantain. Okay, we need we need your address. Necesitamos su dirección para llegarle Sunday's morning. Good breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, Every, you know you got everybody around here like this. Me tiene toda la clase eh. like this, like. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Thank you very much, Claudia. Thank you. Okay, guys. Now I will explain why we have spent, believe it or not, hemos pasado 48 minutos. In these 48 minutes, all of you have been talking. Todos ustedes han estado hablando. Now, why have Why have I been uh, asking you questions like this? Porque les he estado preguntando este tipo de preguntas, valga la redundancia. Because today we are going to work with simple present tense. Estamos trabajando con el tiempo presente simple. Now, simple present tense. Something that is very important that we understand about the tenses is that, okay, the structure is very, very important. La estructura es muy importante. But it is also very important that we understand the idea we are communicating by using a specific tense. Es importante que entendamos la idea que estamos transmitiendo con un tiempo verbal. Okay. Now, simple present tense is used to express facts. Se utiliza para expresar hechos. Okay. It is used to express facts. It is used to express uh, routines. Okay. And it, it is also used to express uh, facts, routines, and habits. Hechos, rutinas, y hábitos. And all along the class, durante toda la clase, you've been telling me routines, facts, Or habits. Let's try to remember when did we do that. Recordemos cuando hicimos eso. Okay, let's see. Uh, Mauricio, right at the beginning of the class, told me that he shaves once a week. Right, Mauricio? Yes. Okay, that's a routine. Okay. You've been telling me, guys, everybody has been telling me that uh, the time uh, at which you wake up In the morning. Me han estado diciendo a la hora que se despierta. Okay. That's part of your routine. On Mondays. Los días lunes. On Sundays, some of you, what you have expressed, because it's not specific, porque no siempre es a la misma hora, is that you have been expressing me your habit. Me han estado expresando el hábito. That you sleep late. Que dormimos hasta tarde, ¿verdad? Because it's our free day, our day off, en nuestro día libre. So we sleep late. Some of us, not all of us, pero la mayoría. Okay? We stay in bed until late. And we have been talking about, we have been saying timetables. Hemos estado diciendo este horarios. Like, I go to sleep at 10, I go to sleep at 12, I go to sleep at 11, I wake up at 5.30, I wake up at 6. So those are the Those ideas are what you express with simple present. Esas ideas son las que expresamos con el presente simple. And before analyzing the structure, antes de analizar las estructuras, you have used the tense. Ya me utilizaron el tiempo verbal. Because all the ideas you were expressing to me with a few exceptions, con unas pequeñas excepciones, all your ideas have been simple present. Like uh, Sandra tells me that on Mondays she wakes up 
at 3.30, right, Sandra Yanira? 3.30, right? Yes, teacher. Okay. Why? Because part of her routine on Mondays is to travel from Santa Ana to San Salvador. So that's her routine. Now, uh, Susana has to take care of four kids. So on Sundays, she has to prepare breakfast, lunch, dinner for everybody and do the housework, okay? Claudia says that she prepares breakfast. Who else told me that cooks? Oh, Amparo told me that on Sundays, she usually cooks uh, a different type of lunch. She prepares something special for Sunday's lunch. Those are our routines, our habits, or facts. Now, with these things, facts, cuando decimos hechos, things that are true all the time, cosas que son reales todo el tiempo. Sometimes we express them by using the simple present, like, hi guys, my name is Douglas Arevalo. Simple present. And I am expressing a fact. Y expreso un hecho. You know? Uh, Karen's got migraine. Karen tiene migraña. Okay? So that's a fact. Eso es un hecho. Today is windy. Ahora hace viento. Those are facts, right? Uh, I told you the other day, le dije el otro día, I like Mr. Arana's window. Me gusta la ventana que tiene ahí Mr. Arana behind him. Because this wood is made out of wood. Tiene madera. I like that. I like that. That's a fact. Eso es un hecho. Okay? I can tell that Hugo and Walter Alexander love wearing caps. Le gusta usar gorra. Almost all classes, they are wearing a cap. Okay? Those are facts. Uh, now, I can tell for sure Este día yo puedo decir, de hecho, that Mauricio loves uh, video games. Que a Mauricio le gustan los video games. Not just because of his background. No solamente por el... ¿Cómo se dice background? That, uh... Fondo de pantalla. Thank you, mister. Appreciate it. Okay, not just for his background. He told me that he got a machine, an arcade at home. That's cool. So... He loves uh, video games. Edwin Daniel is working right now in this moment. That's a fact. Ese es un hecho. Because he's like working on the computer. He's in the class. And he's also answering the phone or sometimes making phone calls. So he's doing different activities. He's a busy person this day. But he told me that is not all the time. No es una rutina, because it's not that every day he works at night. No es que él trabaja de noche todos los días. Okay? He's just going to work to, tonight, right, Edwin? Just tonight. Perfect. Excellent. Yes. Thank you, mister. So, those have been routines. Esas son rutinas. Facts. Hechos. Ivania, Ivania's daughters are adults. Las hijas de, de Ivania son adultas. So, no problem for her. No hay ningún problema para ella. Ivania, tell me, how old are your daughters? Hello. Hello. How old are your daughters? ¿Cuántos Think. años tienen sus hijas? Ten. I'm sorry? Ten. Ten years. Ten years old. Oh, yes. they are not adults. No, son adultos. They are little kids. My, my, my daughter, yes. Evelyn. Evelyn. <laughs> That's right. I'm sorry. I got mistaken. It's because I don't see the, I don't see your faces. No veo los rostros. Thank you. It's easier to remember faces than names. Yes, Evelyn. I'm sorry, Evelyn. How old are your daughters, Evelyn? Um, my daughter, uh, one, uh, she have. She uh, is. She is uh, forty, uh, twenty-four. 
Okay. Old. And uh, 18. Okay. Old. Look, look at the chat. The oldest, the oldest, la mayor. The oh. oldest, the oldest is 24. Say with me, the oldest is 24. The oldest is 24. And the youngest is, y la menor. And the youngest is, is um, it is a 18 old. 18, 18 years old. Years old. Years. 18 years, years old. old. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, so you see, <laughs> thank you very much. In this case, as you can see, we are talking about uh, uh, facts, routines, okay? Hablamos de hechos, hablamos de rutinas, okay? And we talk about habits. Now, it's very important. When we talk about facts, cuando hablamos de hechos, we are saying, we are stating general truths. Estamos diciendo eh, simples verdades. Just like that. Okay? Cosas que son reales. Now, let me just get something ready for you so I can show it to you, but I need to erase some images because they are not allowed. I got a small, well, no, it's not a small presentation. Okay, but we will try. Okay, I got it ready. You want the short presentation, the short explanation, or the long explanation? What do we want? Hmm. It's complex because we the have short? the short one. <laughs> okay, okay, that's interesting. But you know what? Perhaps let's do something. Porque toda la semana vamos a estar trabajando con simple present. Daily routines. Let's get over the grammar explanation today. Salgamos hoy de la explicación gramatical. So the next days we get to practice, to apply it. Así el resto de la semana nos vamos más a aplicarlo. Okay? What do you think? ¿Qué les parece? So that way, the next one we get like... We get more into practice, more into speaking, okay? So let me show you. And don't worry, I'll try to make it fast because there's also something from the book that, from the manual, the Insafar manual that we need to cover. But I really, really would like you to analyze some points here with me. Okay, let me see, I need to do this, then do this, and the simple present. Okay, guys, simple present test. The simple present can be used to refer to actions which occur at regular intervals. Okay? Acciones que ocurren a intervalos regulares. Rita teaches English at Regal International. Oops, I'm sorry for this word. Three times a week. and sings in the school choir. Ana canta in the school choir, coro. Next one. Daniel always sleeps during his math class. Look, Daniel always sleeps during his math class, siempre. That's a habit, that's an, a habit, okay? Siempre es un hábito. Next one. She usually works on her basket after dinner. Basketball. Ella practica basketball after dinner. He usually drinks tea after a meal. He usually drinks tea after a meal. Después de una comida. They go to a dance every Sunday. Ellos van a bailar todos los domingos. They take a walk with their son every day. 
Okay, look, we have here run every day, do every day, not do homework. Let's look. He runs to school every day. She does her homework every day. Or if it's negative, she does not or he doesn't do his homework every day. Now look, we have does for affirmative, we have doesn't for negative. When? Cuando? Cuando hablamos de él. We'll get to it. Vamos a llegar a ello, don't worry. Okay. Not like. She doesn't like school. Get A plus. He gets an A plus on every quiz. Ooh, a good student. He always listens to the teacher. Okay, now look. I always brush my teeth. I always eat a lot of candy. Mm, yeah, me too. I love eating candies. Now, the simple present is also used in stating general truth. Verdades generales. Facts. The earth goes round the sun. La tierra gira alrededor del sol. That's a general truth. Es una verdad. Okay? Right? The sun go, the earth goes around the sun. Now, next. Birds fly. Los pájaros vuelan. That's a fact, right? Es un hecho. Occasionally, the simple present is used to express actions occurring on the, in the future. A veces nos expresa acciones que ocurren en el futuro. Right? Now, our plane leaves at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Nuestro avión sale at 8 o'clock tomorrow night. In addition, the simple present is used when referring to printed material. Okay? And when describing events portrayed in a book, film, or other work of art. Si estamos hablando de un trabajo de arte, un libro, un film, we use simple present. NASA starts countdown to Mars mission. Es un hecho. Okay, now, how do we structure it? ¿Cómo lo estructuramos? It's formed from the bare infinitive of the verb. Okay? The bare infinitive of a verb consists of the infinitive, but without the word to. Now, what is the infinitive? Let me explain that. What, what are we referring when we talk about the infinitive? ¿De qué hablamos cuando estamos diciendo el infinitivo? Okay, you know what is a verb, right? Sabemos que es un verbo. Yes? It's every word that expresses an action. Son las palabras que expresan una acción. Okay? Like jump, run, watch, smile, frown. Okay? Nod. Swing. Yeah? Sleep. Those are verbs. They express actions. The verb in infinitive. Now, some people call it infinitive, some people call it the base form. Algunas personas lo van a llamar infinitivo, algunas otras lo, le van a decir que es the base form, la forma base. Okay, now, the infinity is usually created by writing the, vo the word to. Normalmente lo formamos al escribir the particle, la partícula to, before the verb. Y eso nos lo enseñaron en la escuela, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan del to be, to dance, to run, okay, to? When we put it like that, cuando lo ponemos así, the verb is in infinitive. ¿Y qué quiere decir eso? Volvemos. Oh, simple. You know that the verb, when you conjugate a verb, cuando decimos esa palabra, conjugar el verbo, algo que nos encantaba todo, ¿verdad? En la escuela, más en español, aquellos tiempos raros. Yeah, I know that everybody loved that. Sé que a todos les encantó. Okay. When you conjugate the verb is when you put it to work. Es cuando lo ponemos a trabajar, digamos. Okay. ¿Cómo así? Okay. Si pongo el verbo junto a un sujeto, decimos nosotros que el sujeto hace la acción. Okay. Like uh, Karen nods. Karen afirma. With her help, nod. That's an action. 
to nod. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mr. Ru Mr. Walter Ruiz, he frowns. El frowns. Fruncir el seño. Frowns. Okay. He went like. Okay. I think that, you know, Amparo gets me nervous. Amparo me pone nervioso. She's always staring at me. She stares. Ella. You know, she's looking at me. She stares like, what? Okay, so that's a verb. In, that's the verb conjugated. Ahí es cuando está conjugado el verbo. Tienen sujeto antes. Alguien lo está usando. Okay? I talk a lot. Yo hablo mucho. That's part of my job. Parte de mi trabajo. Okay? I talk a lot. In class, actually. On my daily basis, I don't. But in class, I talk a lot. Yo hablo. El verbo está siendo conjugado. El verbo está trabajando. In infinitive, the verb doesn't work. En infinitivo, el verbo no trabaja. Y volvemos a lo mismo. Me dicen, ¿y entonces cómo sería? Ok, to make it easy for you. To dance, bailar. To run, correr. To be, ser. To be, estar. Ahí no está conjugado, ¿verdad? Because we don't say I to be. No decimos I to be, decimos I am. No decimos yo ser, decimos yo soy. Right? We don't say, no decimos yo bailara. We say I dance, yo bailo. We erase the to. Quitamos la partícula to. El verbo ya no está realmente en infinitivo. Utilizamos la misma forma infinitiva, simple, base del verbo, con un sujeto. In order to express the simple present. That's why I gave you the examples. I said that Karen knows, Amparo stares, Walter frowns. Okay? Now, let's continue. Okay. You see, we got to be. Es el infinitivo. Bear infinitive. Bear es como decir desnudo. Okay. To be. The bear infinitive. Be. To walk. Walk. To work. Work. Now, the simple present of the verb to work is conjugated as this. I work. You work. He works. She works works it works we work they work the form of the verb used with the subjects he she and it is generally referred to as the third person singular la tercera persona singular lo que yo le dije él ella o eso es simple okay now spelling rules for the third person if you notice, si se dieron cuenta, when we talk about he, she, or it, hay una variación. The S, no aparece una S. He works, she works, it works. Okay, what are the rules? ¿Cuáles son las reglas? The rules are very simple. Some verbs change their spelling by just adding S to their verb infinity. Some verbs change their spelling by just adding S to the verb infinity. What's that? Look, word show. Simplemente le agregamos la S. Works shows. When a verb ends in Y preceded by a vowel, just add S. Play, enjoy, boy. Si termina en Y y antes de la Y hay una vocal, siempre le, solo le agregamos la S. When a verb ends in Y preceded by a consonant, we cut the Y and add, no, desatemos de la Y, and add I, E, S. Study, studies. Worry, worries. Carry, carries. When a verb ends in double S, S, H, C, H, X, Z, and O, what do we do? We add ES, so goes, teaches, 
washes, watches, fixes, buzzes. Okay. Don't worry to take notes. No preocupen en tomar notas. I am sending the rules to the to the to the group. Ya se las mandé al grupo las reglas. Okay. So you can check them after with time. Now, it's simple. When we talk about he, she, or it, cuando hablamos de él, de ella, o de eso, third person is that door rules apply. Solo entonces aplican esas reglas. Don't worry that much about it. No se preocupen tanto. That's something that you will get through practice. Eso es algo que van a lograr después de la práctica. And I will be helping you, correcting you when you make the mistake. Y yo les voy a ayudar a corregirlo cuando se nos escape. So, don't worry. But it's good that you have the rules. Any question up to now? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No? Veo cara de tristeza, like, uh. I know it's hard, it's hard. Don't worry, don't worry. It's normal. Okay? It's normal. At the beginning, this feels like too big, but you will see that this is piece of cake. Pero ya verán que esto es pan comido. Okay, let's continue. Where was that thing here? Okay, let's see. Now, the auxiliary do and does. Okay, the auxiliaries do and does are used to make the interrogative and negative forms. Para hacer las preguntas y la forma negativa utilizamos do y das. Ok. Negative form. Cuando usamos los sujetos I, you, we, and they, the structure is like this. Subject plus do not or don't plus the verb and the complement. Look, we do not swim. Uh, this is not a link. This is a, 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 let's see, let's do some, oh, Roxana disconnected. Guys, can you help her? Again, le puedo mandar el link a Roxana en el grupo, please. So, thank you very much, Mr. Mr. Walter Ruiz. So, he, she, it plus, uh, let's do it the other way looks weirder. Se ve un poquito rarito ahí. I will explain it again in another way. Okay. Se lo voy a explicar de una manera un poquito más sencilla. Para comenzar la pregunta del millón. ¿Qué significa el do y el das ahí? Do you know what does it means? ¿Saben qué significa? No. Okay. Don't worry about that. Normalmente el verbo do o das, das es la forma del verbo hacer en tercera persona, es el verbo hacer. I do my homework, yo hago mi tarea, but that verb is also used as an auxiliary, pero también se utiliza como un auxiliar. When it is used as an auxiliary, cuando se usa como un auxiliar, no significa nada. ¿Ok? It doesn't mean nothing. No significa nada de nada. It just helps us to get the idea that the verb, nos da la idea que el verbo principal is in simple present. Uh, let me explain it in another way. Se lo voy a explicar de otra manera. I'm going to use the board there. Okay, let me see. I got the board here. Okay. Affirmative form. Estamos hablando del presente simple, forma afirmativa. We got subject. Oops. Plus. Verb. Más el verbo. Sometimes, a veces, es. And sometimes, y es. Y a veces. That according to the rules que les acabo de enviar. Plus. And again, I'm sorry, plus complement. That's the affirmative form. Okay? We say that 
Amparo Talks Habla In class I Sleep A lot Oops My bad I sleep a lot. And let's see. Walter goes to work. Simple present. Subject plus the verb plus. Oops, I'm sorry. Subject plus the verb plus the complement. That's the affirmative form. Now, the negative form. Easy. Look at the structure. Subject plus auxiliary. What's the auxiliary? Can be do or does. Do or does plus, oops, plus not plus the verb plus the complement. Okay, now these same sentences in the negative form. Look at them. Amparo. When I'm talking about Amparo, I'm talking about her. Estoy hablando de ella. So I will use das. Amparo, das. Not. Talk. In class, I, subject, as I'm talking about I, I use do, not, sleep, a lot. Next one, Walter, Walter. Look, Walter is the subject. Now, oops, I'm Walter does not go to work. Okay, look at it. This is the structure, affirmative, negative. Some things that we need to check on. Algunas cosas que necesitamos fijarnos. Look at here. The S, E, S, I, E, S. In the third person, in la tercera persona. Look, Amparo talks, Walter goes. Pero vean la forma negativa. Amparo does not talk. Look at here, talk. But Amparo was talks. ¿Qué le pasó a la S? Oh, el auxiliar la toma sobre sí. Walter goes. Aquí el verbo ya está en su forma infinita. ¿Ok? In the infinity. Why? Because the auxiliary takes the ES. Look, Walter does not go to work. Now, something else that we need to remember. When we are talking about I, you, I'm sorry, no, he, I, you, we, they. In these cases, in estos casos, we use do. Okay? 
when we talk about I, when we talk about we, if we talk about you or they, we use do. And in the th for the third person, para la tercera persona, that's when we talk about he, she, it. In these cases, oopsie, my bad. In these cases, what do we use? Simple, we use does. Okay, so I repeat, for he, for it, or for she, we use does. Any question up to here? I want to pregunta hasta acá. No? Do you want this uh, structure on the group? Les envío esta estructura? Yes, please. Eh, justo. Si la puede enviar, por favor. Okay, in this moment, in this moment. Okay, guys. It's in the group already. So that's, from my point of view, that's the easiest way to explain it to you. Desde mi punto de vista, es la manera más fácil de explicárselo. Remember, that's basic structure. Esa es estructura básica. Okay? Basic structure. Cuando decimos estructura básica, the simplest way to make a sentence. La manera más simple. Sentence can be bigger than that. Yes, yeah, sure. Sí, pueden ser más grandes. Step by step, we are going to be adding. Do you remember that I, you were telling me, I usually, I generally, I sometimes, ahí le estaba metiendo ya un adverbio de frecuencia. That's a class. Esa va a ser otra clase. Don't worry. We are going to learn how to place that. But first, let's learn the basic structure. Okay, let's do something. Just let me check on something here. Solo déjenme revisarles algo. Okay. Pero una consulta. Yes, tell me. Este, como para entender más, eh, puedo buscar referencia de, de decir a ah, los, los infinitivos son estos y los regulares tal. O sea, conocerlos en español me ayudaría a entenderlo mejor en inglés, el concepto. No. Para nada, para nada. Ah, vaya. No, don't worry, don't do that. Don't do okay. that. Ok. Ok. I mean, teacher. Yes. En este caso, eh, según puedo ver, creo que la, la base está en aprenderse las fórmulas, ¿verdad? Por así decirlo. Ya. Yeah. ¿Verdad? Okay. O sea, yes. la fórmula para la negativa y la fórmula para las afirmativas. O yes. sea, aquello de sujeto más verbo eh, más complemento en la afirmativa. Yes. En el caso de las negativas, sujeto más auxiliar, ya sea el do o el das, el not, do. el verbo, do. el do, perdón, el do, el not, not, yes, el verbo verb y el... Y el complement. En el complement. O sea, aprendiéndonos eso. Yes, it helps a lot. Ayuda mucho. But the idea yeah. is this, look. The problem is that sometimes they give us a lot of grammar. El problema es que muchas veces nos dieron una gran explicación de gramática. And after that, we made sentences y después de eso nos mandaban a hacer oracioncitas, ¿verdad? And after that, to pronounce them. Y por último, pronunciarlas. Here, we have done it the other way around. Aquí lo hicimos al revés. Do you remember the first part of the class? ¿Se recuerdan la primera parte de la clase? You were using it. Ya lo estaban usando. You were telling me your routines. Me estaban diciendo tus rutinas. You were using simple present. So, we did it the other way. Lo hicimos al revés. First you were speaking. Then we were making... I was pointing out the sentences. Luego me puse a señalar las oraciones específicas. And then we get to the grammar. Y luego llegamos gramática. And let me make a small pause here. Vamos a hacer algo. I'm sorry for this. Uh, so, 
the only way that we are going to really, really, really get them is through practice, okay? And that's why I spent one hour just speaking. So you get used to it. Por eso pasé una hora solo hablando. So you get used to it, para que se acostumbren. In most of the class, I have used, y la mayor parte de la clase he utilizado, whenever possible, just simple present tense. Cada vez que ha sido posible, el presente simple. Okay? Because that's the idea, that we practice simple present tense. Now, questions up to here? I go otra pregunta. This is grammar. You can ask me whatever you want. And this is your class, guys. Esta es su clase. Pregunte. Are we like cool or vamos bien? No quiero que se me desmoralicen. Yes? Cool. Perfect. I can see some thumbs up. Okay, now. We're going to leave the rest of the PowerPoint presentation. El resto de la presentación quizás sí lo vamos a dejar para mañana because this PowerPoint presentation that I have prepared for you, esta cosa que les he preparado, is big. Es bastante grandecita. Well, not really, not that much more. Let's do something so you can... Uh, Okay, no, but yes, tomorrow we are going to do that because tomorrow we are going to work with the interrogative form. Mañana vamos a trabajar la forma interrogativa. Okay. Now, let me continue with the explanation. Questions? Preguntas? No? Thank you. I'm, I need to get the attendance, guys. Necesito la asistencia de nuevo. Amparo Yajaira Meléndez de Molina? Present teacher. Antonia Elizabeth Méndez de Altamirano, not here. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Present. Thank you. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present. Thank you. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present. Thank you. Hugo Ernesto Arevalo Mora. Present teacher. Thank you. Indiana de Jesús Obando. Here. Indiana María Doña. Either. Ivani Elizabeth Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Karen Alejandra Flores. Present. Thanks. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Thank you. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Present teacher. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter Jos José Ruiz Ayala. Present. Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. Yanira del Carmen Paz. I think she's here, no? Hello, Yanira. Is that you? Right here, just Yanira. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Okay, now let's continue. O es usted, Yanira, Sandra Yanira, quien tiene dos devices? No, teacher. Ah, ok, entonces, Yanira, no. Carmen, quizás está teniendo problemas. Connection with the wind is terrible. Ok, guys, now we are going to rest a little bit of the grammar. Vamos a descansar un poquito la grammar. And we'll go to vocabulary. Vamos a adquirir vocabulario. How? Well, this is English for work program. Este es inglés para el trabajo. So we are going to see vocabulary on that we could use on a daily basis. We are going to go to the manual. Vamos a irnos al manual. Okay. We'll go to the manual in page number 19. Unit number two. Brainstorm about your positions at your workplace and say three activities you do there. Okay. Now, do you remember 
Do you remember that a few days ago I asked you to talk to your classmates about different positions on your company? ¿Se recuerdan que hacen las clases? Para terminar la clase les dije, hey, se van a reunir en grupos y mencionenle a sus compañeros distintas posiciones que hay en su compañía. ¿Lo remember? It was the last activity. Y les dije, oh, that vocabulary, keep take notes because we are going to use it. Ese vocabulario lo vamos a utilizar. Ok, now is the time. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Eh, Amparo, you will start. Tell me at least two different positions from your company. Repeat, please. Tell me two different positions from your company. Sus ocupaciones de su compañía, dos positions. Like, um, secretary? Are there a secretary? Yes, a secretary. Another one? Yes. Um, customer service. Okay, perfect. Now, Karen, your turn. Um, ¿Cómo se dice recepción? Receptionist. Receptionist. Um, marketing. And marketing. Perfect. Oh, that's a, those are uh, different areas, work areas. Perfect. Now, thank you very much. Now, let's see, let's see, Mauricio. Yes, teacher. Tell me two different two, positions. Two occupation. Yeah. Uh, cashier. Cashier. Um, sellers. Sellers. Okay, thank you very much. Mabel, please tell me two. Doctor. Okay, perfect. And telemarketing. Telemarketing, excellent. Now mm -hmm. let's see, let's see, Sandra Yanira. Secretary in accounting. Okay, accountant. Oh, you know, Walter Account. is like, mm, that was Walter's. Esa era la de Walter Alexander. Walter Alexander, now is your turn. You've been too quiet today. Accountant. Okay. I'm secretary. I'm secretary. Secretary. Okay, Ivania. Thank you, Walter. Ivania, your turn. Give me, give me two. And coordinator and billing. Okay, coordinator, coordinator and billing, facturaciones, right? Sí. Yes. Perfect. That would be also cobros. Yes. Okay, now let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see who else is around. Where's Susana? Susana, Susana, Susana. Pharmaceuticals. Okay. And um, sellers. Okay, perfect. Now let's mm -hmm. see. Hugo, hello, Hugo. Hello, teacher. Tell me two. Um, pilot. Okay. Um, uh, a counter. Okay. What about technicians? Are there technicians in your company? Hay técnicos, technicians. No. Sí. Okay. Sí. Thank you very much. Now let's see, let's see. Vladimir, tell me two. Lawyer and tech support. Okay, tech support. Yeah. Okay, interesting. I was waiting for somebody to tell me that one. That one is a good one. Tech support. Remember, tech support. That's nowadays they help a lot. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Now let's go back to the book. Okay, we got here difference. Look, we got bookkeeper, human resource space. Oh, well, in order letter A, bookkeeper, B, financial analyst, C, human resource specialist, D, digital marketing manager. E, insurance agent. F, software engineer. Again, bookkeeper, financial 
financial analyst, human resource specialist, digital marketing manager, insurance agent, software engineer. Okay, now, 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 let's see vocabulary. Bookkeeper, this one is not well known, but uh, Mr. Arana is a bookkeeper, right, Mr. Arana? You're a bookkeeper, right? Mm. Bookkeeper. Yeah, you are a bookkeeper, right? Usted es un bookkeeper, yeah. right? Yes. He's a bookkeeper. That's a... For us will be an old-fashioned word. Para nosotros sería una palabra ya pasada. Antes le decíamos tenedores de libro. Now we call them accountants. You're an accountant, right? Yeah. So you are a bookkeeper or an accountant. It's the same. Es lo mismo. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Okay. Rana. Let's continue, guys, with the vocabulary. Let's continue. Let's continue. Okay. Now, human resource specialist, insurance agent. Okay. Financial analyst digital marketing manager and software engineer. Okay, guys, I am sending you the picture of this screen because I need you to do this exercise. You will have two minutes to do the exercise. It's pairing, you have to match, okay? So let's see, like bookkeeper. What is a bookkeeper? Mm -hmm. Oh, perhaps is the one who help people in business manage their finances? Mm -hmm. Or will be help people in companies against financial loss and manage risk? Number one. Number two. Or keep track of the financial accounts of companies? Number one. Okay, number one. Number one. Okay, now. You're going to do it in groups. I'm going to make the groups a little bigger so you can do it fast. You just got two minutes to do the exercise. Okay? So let me check. Right now, one, two, three, four. Okay. Two minutes, guys. Jump in. Get in the groups. Sí, página 19. Están en orden, si las si la ves, la 1 es la A. Bookkeeper, keep track of financial accounts of company. Mm, Permitirme. No, no. Eh, la 5 es B. La, porque, ah, sí, porque ayuda a las pérdidas financieras de la empresa. Entonces es un financial analyst. Uh, help people and business manager their finance is estoy con esa de que si es e insurance agent o digital marketing manager okay. uh -huh. for social media uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así me suena La seis es la F. La seis es la F. Sí. 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 Software engineer. Sí. Uh -huh. Help people. La tres es la C. La tres es la C, correcto. Uh -huh. Entonces sí. la E es la es la. En two en four. Eh, en... La cuatro es la E. 4 y insurance agent. Agent. Crea y advierte a la compañía sobre 
social media, insurance agents. Insurance agents. Uh -huh. No, porque insurance. Quedaría. Quedaría la. Sí. La A. Repito. A. 60 seconds. Digital marketing. Ah, hey, Quedaría la 1, la A, uh -huh. la 2, la D, la 3, la C, la 4, la E, la 5, la D. Okay. Everybody's almost coming back. Don't tell your classmates they were in order. No les digan a sus compañeros estaban en orden. Did you notice? ¿Se dieron cuenta? Nadie lo notó. <laughs> no, but some people do, didn't believe me. Algunos no. Será. Yeah, it's because no? of it's because of the vocabulary. Some things look very similar. Algunas cosas parecen very similar. Due to the vocabulary, but actually they were in order. Okay, okay guys, let's see. Vladimir, Vladimir, do you know that you were right? Sabes, estaba en lo correcto. They were in order. Number one, letter A. Number two, letter B. Number three, letter C. Check them out. Let me show it to you. Let's see if everybody's here. Yep, everybody's here. Okay, let's see what, which one am I? Yes, this one. Okay, look, keep track of the financial accounts of companies. That's the bookkeeper. Help people in business manage their finances. That's a financial analyst. Number three, now know the police, the police, the policies, I'm sorry, and regulations involved in the management of employees, human resources specialists. Create and advertise the company over the social media, digital marketing manager. Number five. Help people and companies against financial loss and manage risks, insurance agent. And number six, design and develop different software, software engineer. Now, you will ask me, then why did you send us to look for them? Y algunos de ustedes miran, entonces, ¿para qué nos puso a trabajar en eso? What about vocabulary? Did you understand all the vocabulary? Or do you have questions with the vocabulary? Necesitaba que viéramos el vocabulario. Questions about the vocabulary. Let's, let's look again to the picture of the manual. Questions about the vocabulary. Look, keep track. Keep track. This term is very common for Vladimir, if I'm not mistaken. Este término creo que Vladimir lo usa en su área, right? Keep track. That would be, dependiendo del área, puede ser dar seguimiento. All right. Right? Also, Sandra Yanira, if I'm not mistaken, she keeps tracks of clients. Se da seguimiento a algunos clientes, right? And of course, uh, uh, Mr. Walter, he's an accountant. He keeps track of the financial accounts. Yes, yes, who was going to talk to me? ¿Quién me iba a hablar? También lo utilizamos nosotros a seguimiento, por ejemplo, de pedidos. Ok, right, excellent. Oh, the ones who work with the GPS, todos los que trabajan con el, la cuestión de GPS. You keep track, le dan seguimiento, you keep track of the vehicles. Ok, now, help people in business. What is a business? Negocios. Ok, business. Manage. Manage to administrate, 
administrar. That's manage. Okay? Their finances. Know the policies. Know. Saber, conocer. And regulations involved in the management of the pronunciation of this word. Remember, employees. Employees. Now, number four, create and advertise. Do you know what is to advertise? Anunciar. That's advertise. Okay? Now, help people and companies against financial loss and manage risk. Ayudar a las personas y compañías against, en contra, o para evitar it in this case. But actually it means en contra. Financial loss, pérdida. And manage risk, riesgos. And this is very simple. Design and develop different software. Okay. Questions about that vocabulary? Questions about that exercise? Preguntas con ese ejercicio? No? Okay, let's check it out again. Tell me, do you have in your companies, are there uh, accountants? Yes, sure, right? Everybody told me that you got accountants. Otherwise, a company doesn't work properly. De lo contrario, una compañía no sabe cómo trabajar. Yeah, because the accountant is the one who tells you if you can use the money or not. Because they keep track of all your transactions. And besides that, taxes. Terrible. Hey, taxes. Okay, now let's see which other vocabulary we have. Uh, financial analysts, some companies do, some companies do not. Human resource specialist, yes, we got HR, right? Remember yeah. that in some companies, they just refer to them as HR. En algunas compañías simplemente van a escuchar que se refieren a ellos como HR department. Okay? El departamento de HR, that's the way they say it, así lo dicen. Human resources, they contract it, just, they just say the letters. HR. ¿Por qué algunas abreviaciones en inglés van con doble letra? Por ejemplo, Estados Unidos, E, E, U, U. No hay el, caso, el caso de recursos humanos, he visto también que lo abrevian así como usted dice, pero And también. Es... With double H. Yes. Exacto. ¿Por you qué know, se da? It's not a rule. Realmente no es una regla. They got used to it. Se acostumbraron a hacerlo así. And then it got accepted. And then became a rule. Luego eso es aceptado. porque, que yo sepa, eso es porque es en plural. In some Cuando cases, haces esas abreviaciones. In Cuando repetís la letra. In some oh. cases. En algunos casos, sí. But actually, United States of America is USA. United States. Estados. That's plural. And you just get one. You see, USA. Pero en ese caso, teacher, ajá, exacto. La abreviación es USA. Yep, just one. Pero, eh, exacto. Pero, por ejemplo, he visto la abreviación también de E, E, U, U. -u. Yes. En as, español. As I told you, como le dije, se acostumbraron a ello y después lo volvieron regla. That happens in all languages. Y eso nos pasa en todos los idiomas. That sometimes, I mean, we start using something that is not like correct and then it becomes a rule. Y luego se vuelve una regla. That happens with a lot. It's like, uh, I mean, for you it's normal to see contractions. Para ustedes es muy normal ver contracciones. But when I learn English and from some of my English teachers y de algunos de mis profesores de inglés, like uh, at the university, One of my teachers was Scottish. One of my maestros fue escocés. I mean, he never, never accepted from me a contraction when speaking. Nunca me aceptó una contracción cuando yo hablaba. He always asked me to use full form. But now I am teaching you and I teach you contractions because now they are common. They got accepted. 
They became a rule. Se volvieron una regla. The same happens with the abbreviation. Okay? But I will look it up because I love, I love looking for information like that. Pero me encanta. Se la voy a buscar porque me encanta buscar información así. It's good. It's curious. I will find it out when they, they started using two. Les voy a averiguar cuándo comenzaron a usar dos y por qué en algunos casos solo una. Okay? That's going to be my homework. Just let me see. I'm sorry. That's what I get. The ones that I need to remember. Uh, to look for abbreviations. Okay. It's noted. So I don't forget it. Que no se me olvide. I will look it up. Se la voy a buscar. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Any other question up to here? ¿Hay otra pregunta hasta ahí? No? No. Okay. Insurance agent. Well, actually, the insurance agent doesn't work for your company, right? La gente de seguros no trabaja para su compañía. I mean, the, um, the insurance agent is a third person. Yeah, third person. They, no subcontratados. Yeah, they are out from the company and they, well, actually, the insurance agents, they are just an intermediary. Realmente, el, la gente de seguros es un intermediario. Because he connects your company with the insurance agency. And here in El Salvador, the insurance agents, I mean, uh, they get certified by taking a test. Then they, uh, I don't know how to say that. They pay something like will be, in Spanish, we will say a bail. En español le daríamos una fianza. And then they, uh, they get in record and they, then they present to the insurance agency. They give them permission to sell their products, but they don't work for them. And they don't work for you. They are independent. Son independientes. So it's kind of complex. I know this because I, actually my sister got me studying for that. A mí me tienen estudiando para eso. No. That's another story. Never mind. Let's continue. Uh, let's see another position that we got. And software engineers. Now, software engineers. Let's see. In some companies, they actually design in some companies they are in they are the heads of the of the tech support right in algunas compañías ellos real, eh, se encargan de diseñar but in others they are just as tech support pero en otras simplemente están como soporte técnico right and nowadays they i mean they got a lot of work en día tienen mucho trabajo because everything is about Software. Actually, more software than hardware specialists, I would think. Well, never mind. Let's see. Questions about the vocabulary. Preguntas? No? Okay. Uh, let me make a small pause. Voy a hacer una pequeña pausa. That's brief. I am very happy because almost everybody, casi todo, did the exercises on the platform for week one. Casi todos me hicieron los ejercicios en la plataforma para semana uno. Eh, on time, a tiempo. Some of you got a little bit late, but did it. Algunos se me atrasaron un poquito, pero me lo hicieron. And I just got like two or three people who haven't finished yet, que no me lo han terminado. And I need you to run. Y los necesito que corran, please. Because... Right now we are working in, I'm sorry, in uh, week number two. a la semana dos. And in this week, you need to take the midterm exam. Esa semana tomamos el midterm. On Friday, we are going to check it out together. Para los que no lo hayan hecho para el día viernes, le vamos a dar una revisada acá en el grupo. A few minutes. Just to check it out, to explain the instructions. Solo para explicar las instrucciones. If something is not clear, just that. Okay, we are not going to solve it here. No lo vamos a resolver acá. But if there's any doubt, we are going to solve it. So 
I need you to please let's try to get advanced with the working of the platform. Remember, that's a requirement from Insafor for you to approve. Es un requerimiento de Insafor para que ustedes aprueben. In the last week, in la última semana, for the last class, you need to have it ready. El día de la última clase tienen que haberlo tomado ya. The final exam. So, it's very important that you get used to it. It's important that we get used to it because it's the same in all levels, okay? Let's see. Guys, questions? Preguntas? No? Doubts? Dudas? It's not the same. Teacher. Yes, tell me. ¿Verdad que no podemos adelantar en las tareas aunque estén en el... En la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ok. Y, I mean, as a matter of fact, de hecho, if you want, you can. Si quiere, puede. I wouldn't recommend it. No se lo recomendaría mucho. Because, uh, I mean, if you go, if tomorrow you check the, the YouTube list, si usted el día de mañana revisa la lista, you will see that the, the video, actually, el video, Usted va a ver que el video de esta clase se llama Simple Present Affirmative and Negative Statement. Así se llama el video de esta clase. ¿Y qué hemos visto en esta clase? Uh -huh. Simple Present Affirmative and Negative Statement. Y la uh -huh. tarea esa viene después del video. ¿Sobre uh -huh. qué le van a preguntar ese ejercicio? Ah, sobre Simple Present Affirmative and Negative Statement. En eso está basado. Entonces, en teoría yo tengo que irle dando la ayuda para que ustedes después de la clase lo hagan, ok ah, quizás por eso fue que perdí la noción del tiempo haciendo lo que estaba haciendo y me pasé a la primera tarea de la unit 2 yeah, y todo me salió mal that happens that happens but now if you get to it, si ahora la base de nuevo, you can tell that it's going to be easier, va a ser más fácil now remember if there's any doubt, any question ask me, you can take it more than one time, pueden hacer las tareas más de una vez. I mean, if you got too low or a grade, está con una nota muy baja, and you are not satisfied, you can do it again. Remember that the minimum is 80, the minimum is 80. Okay, so we need to get the highest grade. And besides that, what I've been telling you day after day and after day, lo que les digo día tras día tras día, practice, repetition, it's good for you. You're a beginner, you need it. Well, everybody needs it. Todos lo necesitamos. Practice, 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 repetition. It's very important and it's going to really help us become better. Now, I know that this class has been hard and heavy. Sé que esta clase ha sido un poquito pesadita. The grammar explanation has been long. But you will see the, the results of that from tomorrow on. De mañana en adelante lo van a ver más porque we are going to apply it. Okay? Thank you for your patience, guys. Les agradezco su paciencia. It's been nice being here in your, with you in my class. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Please be on time. Estamos a tiempo. Remember, they check your minutes also. Les cuentan hasta los minutos. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a good one. Get better, Karen. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 And the class finishes right now.